Hey guys, here with your computing lesson for this week. And we're going to look at being a game changer this week. So we're going to have a look at the games industry and how it makes its money and what we can do to avoid us spending lots and lots of money by mistake. So our steps to success for today. Can I understand how the game makers make their money? Can I explain how game developers make us want to spend our money on their games? And can I create a guide to explain how to use online games safely and responsibly? So gaming is a big business. Online gaming has become far more widespread as a result of COVID-19, the pandemic we're currently in, the reason we are not in our classroom at the moment. We're all doing the right thing, keeping everyone safe. We're washing our hands. We're maintaining our social distancing from people. And we're doing everything we can to make sure that we can be healthy. It's estimated that the gaming industry is worth around 132 billion pounds across the world. That's a lot of money and it's growing every year at the moment. It had one of its biggest growths last year because of the pandemic. So where does all this money come from? We have free to play games, quite often free to download and are often full of adverts that kind of ruin the game because you get halfway into something and a big advert pops up and you've got to wait 30 seconds for it to play and close down. So these free to play games have the adverts in there. So the advertiser purchases space in that app or the game and they use that to promote their product and sometimes people will click on them and they'll think oh, that's really just what i was looking for and they'll buy the items but that's how one of the ways of making the money the other one we have is in-app or in-game purchases so you can buy the game to remove the adverts which some free-to-play games offer that as an option or you have to buy certain items in order to win the game. And that's a bit sneaky. You have a free game, think this is brilliant, it's great fun. I can't get past this level, why not? Because I need to go and spend money and buy a certain gadget that goes with the game or a loot box, and that will give you access to win the rest of the game. You also have what's called premium games. So these are games you buy at the beginning. So games like FIFA on the PS5 and various other games. So you have to buy that game at the beginning and they still can be in-app purchases, but these don't affect the gameplay. They're just nice extra things to have. So there's lots of ways that these companies will make their money. Some will do it by selling advertising space and making a really annoying game because of all the advertising. They then say, well, if you want to get rid of the adverts, if you spend £4.99, for example, you can get rid of them. You can buy your way out of having to watch the adverts every five minutes. That's one way. And then you've got the in-game purchases where you get stuck at a point and it says, have you thought about buying this? And you might innocently click on it and we'll find out what happens in a minute. So some of the examples of the impact of in-app purchases. Some of the numbers here are quite large and I was sort of surprised at how much money you are able to spend without really thinking about it on these games. My six-year-old spent £3,200 playing iPhone games. Our son spent over £1,000 online on his Xbox. My child spent £150 on Fortnite. Basketball game cost our family £2,000. Our daughter's free trial cost £93. That's one you need to be careful of. If you see something that offers you a free trial, quite often what it will do, it will sign you up so that at the end of the free trial, you start paying for the product. So just be mindful of anything that says free trial. There should be an opt out that comes up at the end of the time. If you can't find it, get rid of the app as quickly as possible and deregister the email address and the um, App Store account that goes with it. This is a really sneaky way of them getting you to spend money on their product. Our son spent £700 on Clash of Clans. 
my son spent three thousand one hundred and sixty pounds in one game so you can see there's a significant amount of money that can be spent there's nearly ten thousand pounds in the seven headlines that i picked up of people spending money and not realizing they're actually spending real money rather than in-game money and the final one the kids emptied our bank account playing fifa so fifa i know you can buy loot boxes which will have players in it and certain other upgrades and you don't always think actually where how am i paying for this what's the fund that's paying for this is it money in the game or is it actual real life money so why do games offer these purchases now we've talked about some of the reasons already it means you can complete the game quicker than your friends or you can catch up to where your friends are so if you're someone that's come to the game a little bit later maybe you've been not allowed to go on your xbox or your playstation or on your ipad for a little while because you've not done your schoolwork for example you think oh god all my friends have really got further on than i have oh i can buy this and it'll help me catch up i'll be able to get to where they are quicker or you might have a game a race going with your friends as to who can finish that game quicker and you read somewhere that oh if you buy this you can create you can finish the game more quickly these are ways of encouraging you to spend that money you might want a new outfit an item or a loot box for your character that might have an item that will help your character so quite often i've seen it in games i've played oh it looks like you've got stuck at this point if you spend 12 pounds 50 you can buy this item which will help you get past this level now i know where that money comes from for me because I know it's my bank account that's connected to the app store that I use. As you guys, you might just not know that it's mum and dad's bank account that's connected to the app store. And they also offer it because it makes them more money. There are some people who will spend the money on the game and do it fully knowing that it's going to cost them quite often so the last slide i showed you with all those crazy amounts of money people will go back and say well hang on a minute these purchases were made in error they were made by my child they don't know any better they might get refunded whereas the ones that people deliberately spend the money on it they know they're spending their money so to give you an idea of some of the things that might pop up you might see in the games you might be offered you need more gold coins to purchase this you can buy some here 99 cents in dollars that one 99 cents will get you 5000 coins or the 50000 coins is $4.99 so there you go there's you can spend money quite quickly and easily there another one here game over there's an option to remove the advert so this is one of those games i was talking about at the beginning where you're playing away and all of a sudden an advert pops up and you've got to wait 30 seconds to be able to get back into the game so they'll offer this as an option we've got another one here for buying treasure sacks of gems ranging from 20 dollars up to a hundred dollars so you can really quickly start spending money without really thinking about it and here as well we've got loot boxes that we've talked about 50 loot boxes is just under 60 dollars i couldn't find any in pounds but this just gives you an example of how easily that money can be spent because you don't it doesn't give you a warning that this is real money you're spending it's on the phone it looks like it's part of the game it looks like you're using the currency from the game so this is just something to be really careful of so before you buy anything on your game have a think who pays for those purchases who pays for those items it will quite often be your parents that will pay for them as the app store is usually connected to their account so what could you do before you think oh i'll just buy that you could just double check with your parents and just say i'm not quite sure is this in the game or is this going to cost money and if you want to and then you then decide actually i would like to spend that money make sure you give that money to your parents for it so they're not paying for it straight out of their pocket so 
how can you avoid in-app purchases? So I had a look around, had a look on the App Store, and I had a look on Google Play. The games have a warning next to them. So this statement here contains ads and offers in-app purchases. So it tells you it's got adverts in it and you've got the opportunity to spend money in it. So if you're choosing a free app that you want to play, be aware of this. Remember the fact that actually I can buy things in app that will cost real money. So something that your parents might like to know. In the App Store and on Google Play, your parents can set controls to prevent accidental purchases. Both of them are for setting up parental controls. On the Android, that's the one on the right hand side. So that's the Google Play. iTunes is on the left hand side. So if you're concerned that you might accidentally spend some money from your parents, let them know that there is this and it's really simple to do. I had a look myself. It took me two minutes and it's really simple. It works really nicely. I'm also going to say this. Don't use this information to try and get around the parental controls so you can spend money. If I have complaints from parents, I will not be impressed. So moving on, your task for today above me here, you are going to do the following things. Can you identify where the games you play might want you to spend real money? So have a think about the games that you play, maybe on a phone or a tablet that you've managed to download for free. Have a look, see if you can find those. And then what I want you to do, can you design a leaflet or a blog post to inform adults about in-app purchases and what they can do to prevent their money being spent by mistake? So to give you an example of what we're looking for for a blog post, I have set up my own one above us. I've got my title at the very top, Teacher's Rule. I've got an example of some stories down the side over here. So how Mr. Hill made hot sauce a hot topic. You could click on that and read that article. And then I've got another one, click here for top tips on remote learning. What I've got in the middle here is what I want you guys to focus on. So having this nice arrangement around the outside would be lovely to see for a blog post. What we have got, parents beware of the dangers of in-app purchases. Did you know that the games that your children are playing could be draining your bank account? They're giving our parents a warning about making sure the accounts are secure and what can be done to prevent it. So I'm just going to move my head out of the way so you can see the rest of it. So just this just gives you an idea of what you can do with it. So either a leaflet or if you've got time, create a PowerPoint slide, share it on Tapestry with your teacher. We'll look forward to seeing you. Right, stay safe guys, and I'll see you again for our next one very soon.